sorry. I think your things are in my seat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. In four days' time... Our daughter's gonna marry a guy she just met in Bali, millions of miles from home. I just really want to kiss you. It's like I looked up for the first time and realized everything I ever wanted was right in front of me. She's throwing her career away. Just like her mother did. So I'm the only one who can stop her. She doesn't listen to him. Oh, champagne! Oh, two, please. Just leave the bottle. Thank you. I won't let her throw her life away. We need to trick her into dumping him. As much as this will pain us both, we have to call a truce to make this work. You have to be in lockstep. Hey! Did you make a pact to not murder each other until you murder me first? We are here for you, my love. Yes, we're in lockstep. Yes. Promise, no mean comments. Pretty sure you don't win anything for eating the whole pig. No arguing. No, get off, get off it. No passive aggression. What about aggressive aggression? Try to keep the snoring down. I have a nasal strip. It's a mystery you're still alone. Mom, Dad, this is good day. Almost was the do good day. You learned that to make me look bad. You don't need my help there. <laughs> Are you sure they're not sharks? Come on, don't be a chicken. We might be working with the sharks. Come on. <laughs> Can't believe I got bit by a dolphin. When What's I do that? with you? He said crusher. He said not Georgia crusher. So what's the plan? I say we steal the rings. How do they look? Disappointed. Do you think we're wrong? We're not wrong. Who are we to say that Lily doesn't know what's best for herself? I cannot believe you. What are you talking about? She found the rings. Where? In mom's bag. I knew it. What? You clean up pretty good. Here you go. It's not for the faint of heart. This is not his first rodeo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can we get something a little more age appropriate for these two? Here we go. Which okay. one? There's only one. I see two. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Dad, please stop doing that. Oh, my God. I'm praying for an asteroid. Ow! We have to take your friend Maggie to school, and we can't be late because of your field trip. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Hey. Parker. Melanie Parker. Now let her know that you don't need her to take Parker. Maggie to school for you. What time does your school start? I don't know. That well, probably starts around 9. Everything starts around 9. I'm gonna miss the boat trip. We'll make it, I promise. Hey, come back! I got kids here! Jack! It's a big uh-oh, right? You must be Kristen's ex-husband. You must be. You don't forget to call Melanie Parker. It's underlined three times. Wait, 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 wait! There's this guy who has not only ruined my day, but Sammy's as well. Your mom hates your dad. So, my dad hates your mom. Just want to know if you're wearing panties. Huh? What say I watch the kids while you do your presentation, and then you watch it for me later on the day while I do the column? I only let incredibly responsible people watch my son. I'm incredibly mom. responsible. I'm hungry, Daddy. Want a Tic Tac? Now, honey, you can't make any noise in the office. I have a really important meeting, OK? You're asking me for help. It would appear that way, wouldn't it? Dad! I can't cover for you. Now, you've got less than six hours. Otherwise, we're printing a retraction, and it'll be your last. I was just calling. I just wanted to call it because you don't really trust me. Sammy! Sammy! No. Put the gun down. I was sure you were going to either show up three hours late or not at all. Guess what? I'm not like every other man you know. Guess what? I'm not like every other woman you know. Maybe you should let somebody help you out every once in a while. Definitely not. I've got all of these little balls up in the air. But you're not a control freak. No, I'm a single working mother. I met someone today. I don't know how to describe her. She's, she's luminous. She told you she likes me? It's so obvious, Daddy. 20th Century Fox presents Michelle Pfeiffer. You're blaming your Peter Pan complex what on Peter your mother. Pan the one complex. you're so proud you of. Any friends. I don't have time for friends. George Clooney. That's because of your Captain Hook complex. My what? In a story about two busy people. Don't. What would you do if I kissed you right now? Who just might find the time for each other. Do you want to kiss me right now? I wouldn't now? have mentioned it if I didn't. One fine day. I wonder what they're doing. Wait. Mm, yeah, okay.
This is the way the world could end. Please, show some mercy. With ice. With a kiss. With venom. I probably should have mentioned this. I'm poison. Poison Ivy. And the only man who can stop them. I freeze. I'm Batman. Can't do it alone. Batman will watch his beloved Gotham perish. And up, boys. There's a storm coming. Kill the heroes! It's the hockey team from hell! Cool party! Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, everyone, chill. George Clooney. Julie, I'm not the marrying kind. I know you've had your wild nights. Good night. Wild doesn't doesn't quite cover it. Chris O'Donnell. I want a car. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. Uma Thurman. So many people to kill. So little time. Alicia Silverstone. And you are? Batgirl. That's not awfully PC. What about that person? Found the Batcave. She knows who we are. I guess we'll just have to kill her. Yep. In Joel Schumacher film. <laughs> Strength. And courage. Partners. Honor. Partners. And loyalty. Partners. It all comes together. We're going to need a bigger cave. Batman and Robin. In the fall of 1991, the Andrea Gale left Gloucester, Massachusetts and headed for the fishing grounds of the North Atlantic. Two weeks later, an event took place that had never occurred in recorded history. How's my little girl? Uh -huh. He ain't our daddy. I am the only daddy you got. I am the d heterofamilias. Now Mama's got a new boat. Vernon here's got a job. Vernon's got prospects. He's bona fide. What are you? You can't marry him. Why can't I? I am and I will. This uh, gentleman bothering you? Well, you can't marry my wife. <laughs> and stay out of the wolf world. To get back to his wife and kids, Ulysses Everett McGill will do anything. Hey, any boy, Smitty. But he's about to get off on the wrong track. Who elected you leader of this outfit? Well, Pete, I figured it should be the one with the capacity for abstract thought. Boys, if you just stick with me. We're in a tight spot. Believe me, I got a plan. And I can get my wife back and we can get out of here. OK, I'm with you fellas. Gonna introduce us, Pete? I've seen him first. Pete? Ah! Them sirens loved him up and turned him into a horny toad. <laughs> you two are just dumber than a bag of hammers. Allow me to introduce myself. Big Dan Tootcore. Hey, what 
line of work you in, George. Come and get me, Captain! <laughs> oh, George, not the livestock. Wait a minute. Since we've been following your lead, we got nothing but trouble. You have eluded me for the last time. I got the answers. I'm bona fide. May he be your friend's think I'm just a stranger. My face you never see no more. But there is one wrong. Son, you're gonna go far. You ever been with a woman? I got to get the family farm back before I can start thinking about that. It's never been done before. What's the target? When was the last time you were in Vegas? You want to knock over a casino. Three casinos? Vegas, huh? Vegas? Vegas. Fantastic. The heist is impossible. Casino security cannot be beaten. You're out of your minds. Exactly. <laughs> you are up to something, Danny. What? You're pulling a job, aren't you? You're a thief and a liar. I only lied about being a thief. You're gonna need a crew as nuts as you are. Who do you got in mind? Smash and grab job, huh? Slightly more complicated than that. Say we get down the elevator, we can't move and past the guards with the guns and into the vault we can't open. We're just supposed to walk out of there with $150 million in cash? Yeah. Oh. But these guys... That is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. ...are just crazy enough. You'd need at least a dozen guys doing a combination of cons. Do you understand any of this? I'll explain later. ...to pull off the con. Someone call for a doctor? of the century. We're set. We're set. We're set. Do it already. Why don't you check the batteries? Congratulations. You're a dead man. George Clooney, Matt Damon, Andy Garcia, Brad Pitt, and Julia Roberts. Why do this? Why not do it? From the Academy Award-winning director of Traffic and Aaron Brockovich. Because a house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. I've been practicing this speech. A little bit. Did I rush it? It felt like I rushed it. was good. It. I liked it. Ocean's Eleven. You're either in or you're out. I'm staying in. Please, Sid, relax. Consider this office your office. Now, sir, tell me your troubles. Well... <laughs> come to Papa. Come on now. My wife has me between a rock and a hard place. That's her job. You should respect that. Sounds like to me. You gonna nail his... When a marriage hits the skids... Honey, my key doesn't work. <laughs> Can we talk? And there's a fortune to protect. Miles Massey is the best there is. So you propose that in spite of demonstrable infidelity on your part, your unoffending wife should be tossed out on her ear. Is that possible? It's a challenge. Your Honor, I call Heinz the Baron Kraus von Espy. Now, a man who was used to winning. Did she specify what kind of a husband she was looking for? She said she wanted a very rich husband. Is about to lose his heart to a woman. Look at her, an athlete at the peak of her powers. Excuse me. Who is ready to bite back. I would be delighted, honored, really, if you were. How? 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 <laughs> You named him after your ex. I'm sentimental. Friends, today, Miles Massey is here to tell you that love need cause us no fear. I assume you're a carnivore. Oh, Mr. Massey, you have no idea. Love need cause us no shame. Objection, Your Honor! Strangling the witness! I'm going to allow it. Love is... Good. Marilyn, what a pleasant... <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Howard and I are planning to marry. 
यहाँ पे Intolerable cruelty. Sorry to bother you. I'm Matt King. Yeah, I've come to pick up my daughter, Alexandra. Alex. Dad. <laughs> What's up, Dad? <laughs> What's happening? You need to come home and see your mom. I'm the backup parent, the understudy. I thought you were supposed to be getting your act together. I've been doing really well, actually. Nobody ever seems to notice that. And with Elizabeth, my wife, in the hospital, my daughters are testing me. Look who's here. Get out of my underwear, you freak. Oh, OK. Don't Back inside now. Real good job you're doing. We have to go through this thing together, you and Scotty and me. Dad, this is Sid. He's going to be with me. I'll be a lot more civil with him around. Set, bro. Don't ever do that to me again. I have to go around and tell people what's happening, family and a few close friends. I don't want to talk about mom with anyone. Look, whatever you two fought about, you have to drop it. Grow up. You really don't have a clue, do you? Dad, mom was cheating on you. I'd like to know who the guy is that my wife was seeing. What you've been going through, that's a tough deal. I'm just trying to keep my head above water. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. How often do old people just haul off in cold cocky like that? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long since your last confession, my son? 27 hours. It's really too often. You're not that bad. Here at Capitol Pictures, as you know, millions of people look to us for information and uplift and, yes, entertainment. And we're gonna give it to them. And action. An army of technicians and actors and top-notch artistic people are working hard to bring to the screen our biggest release of the year. 
Hail Caesar is a prestige picture with one of the biggest stars in the world, Baird Whitlock. A truth we could see if we had, but... If we had... Hey, hey! Fake, cut! Uh, Mr. Mannix. What's up? The director can't find Baird Whitlock. Somebody slipped it under my door. We have your movie star. Gather $100,000 and await instructions. Who are we? The future. Hello, Bert. Hello, Mr. Mannix. Lawrence, Obi, thank you all for coming. The studio needs your help. Bad Whitlock has been kidnapped. This is bad. Bad for movie stores everywhere. She sings the perfect harmony. Let's spend 24 hours. But we're looking for him. We don't want it in the gossip columns. This is going to cost the studio a lot of money. And that's where you come in. I need some cash. You must have very strong forearms. Is it hard squeezing it like that? It's part of the job, miss. I'd like to know what the hell is going on here. 20 million readers want the truth, Eddie. Truth, yes. Mm. Eddie. So won't you tell me no truth? I wanna hold in your life. I don't you tell me no truth? I wanna hold in your life. This is a drama, man. It's a real drama. Mr. Mannix, I know it sounds screwy, but someone's calling from the future. Good lord. Wondering what's going on?